Good evening and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. So today I got the Monster Delight sampler. I've been waiting for this since November when she first announced it. So anyway, Britta has an RTS going on right now and she has this sampler available for anybody who wants it. So I thought I would make a video and share with you guys what it what's in the sampler. So the sampler right, is derived from Monster Delight. It co is composed of eight different ghosts centered around this scent blend. So Monster's Delight. It is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, waffle cone, sweet and creamy, and berry vanilla. This particular blend is not offered in the sampler. It's just the base for it. So the first ghost that we have is Monster's Delight and brown sugar plus sh sugar bakery dough. Lots of S's in that one. S's and B's. Alright, and this one's a blue and purple ghost. And this one's really good. You do get that brown sugar note. It is really nice. It is like bakery bakery. There's no fruity notes, nothing. But I like it. It's straight up nice toasty cookie. Let me get that back in the bag. I'm already smudging it a bit. Alright. The next one we have is Monster's Delight and Cornbread. This one's one of my favorites in collection. I actually contemplated going back and getting it, but because I already have 20 souffles from the pre-order, I decided against it. And this one's really good. It's pink and blue. Her cornbread scent is amazing. Absolutely love it. I would buy this one again. All right, so then we have Monsters Delight and Gingerbread. So gingerbread is a very spicy scent and oh yeah, you definitely get that. That is, that is spicy. But if you like gingerbread, you'll like this one. And it is a purple and yellow ghost. All right. Monsters Delight and Wild Berry Mousse. This one is a favorite of Britta's. Let's check it out. Yeah. So Wild Berry Mousse in and of itself is not one of my favorite scents. Like, I love fruity, but I don't know. There's something heavy about it. Unfortunately, I learned that lesson a little bit late because I have quite a few loaves with this scent. But anyway, it's a nice little green or green it's an orange and green ghosty kind of like a key lime green but this one's okay i think i'm gonna give it to my friend sammy because he likes these types of scents all right monsters delight and beach night this was another one of those that i contemplated and probably will still be contemplating going back for Oh yeah, that's pretty good. That beach night, it's so pretty. I don't even know what's in beach nights. I thought it's like a s'mores, but I kind of smell a little bit of sandalwood. This one is a pink and purple ghost. And oh my goodness, this one is worth rebuying. I might add that to my list for customs towards the end of the year. I did place a customs order, but only three loaves, I think. Yeah, three loaves, so... I'm not going to go back for more right this minute, but I would definitely get that again. So the next one I have is Monster's Delight and Cherry Pie. If I remember correctly, everybody raved about her cherry pie. And this one's a dark green and purple ghost. So you can see. And it's good. It's not like a cough syrup cherry. So it's like a, like a lighter um, cherry bakery note to me. But it kind of creeps up on you. So this one's nice. It is. It's not like too overly fruity. Alright. Oh, that one's not part of it. Alright. The next one I have is Monster's Delight and Banana Walnut Bread. I was really excited for this one because I went through a banana phase not too long ago. This one is the little key lime green and red. And it's good. It's not like 
heavy on the banana scent. It's kind of like, it gives it a nutty cookie note to me. But yeah, I like this one as well. Would I get an Isafle? No, because I do like some of these other scents a little bit better, like the Beach Nights or the Cornbread. The last one I have is Monster's Delight and Crackling Birch. So I didn't not actually know what Crackling Birch smells like. So instead of getting something big, I was like, oh, thank goodness that's in Sampler because then I could try it. And it's really pretty, like... It's super pretty. It does remind me of Christmas time, but I think most tree scents do, except for Palo Santo and Vanilla Birch. But this one's nice. It's green and red, so I'll definitely throw this into my holiday drawer. And the last one I have is not part of the sampler. It is actually the sample that I got with my package, and this one is Children of the Cornbread. This was a custom scent blend. I can't remember who did it, but it was from one of our customers, and it is cornbread, butter, or Danish butter cookies, and sweet and creamy. I don't know what sweet and creamy is, but that is such a nice note. And yeah, you do get the Danish butter cookies right off the bat, and her delicious cornbread. And this one is the shape of a Franken ghosty. It's really cute. Anyway, that is my sampler. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I'll have the second video out shortly with my souffles. Have a good night. Bye.